In this edition of Unboxed, we'll be opening the 2021 vinyl box set for Creator, entitled Under the Guillotine, a collection of their first six studio albums with noise records, but also a DVD, a USB stick with bonus tracks, a hardbound book, and more. Now, this proves to be a pretty cool box set, so you should definitely stick around. What's in the box? So my history with this band began back in 1986. I bought Pleasure to Kill when it was brand new, loved it instantly. Of course, it's a thrash classic, as many of us know. And then I went back and got Endless Pain because clearly I had to have more of this band. Uh, this is my entry into Creator, also my entry into German thrash metal. Later, I would discover Destruction and Sodom and Tankard. Those are the other three of the Teutonic Four, as many know. Um, I have seen Creator live just twice. I saw them on one album from the 80s and one album from the 90s. We're going to talk about those two albums amongst the others. I might talk a little bit about the tours as well, um, but that's basically coming up. As for the box, here's what you can expect inside. Uh, the first sixth full-length studio albums for the band, including original artwork and inner sleeves. We're also going to have uh, colored vinyl in all of these, of course. Endless Pain Love Swirl vinyl. Pleasure to Kill Love Splattered vinyl. Uh, Terrible Certainty Love Splattered vinyl. Extreme Aggression with Split vinyl. Coma Souls with Splatter Vinyl, and Renewal with Swirl Vinyl. Uh, plus, we're also going to get the Some Pain Will Last DVD. It's going to contain the From the Vault mini documentary on the band, plus two previously unreleased audio live concerts, and an Andy Sneap remix of Live in East Berlin, 1990. Uh, we're also going to get the Bringer of Torture book. It's a 12-inch by 12-inch book, uh, 40 pages in total with photography, and lyrics and quotes from the band, uh, basically from the first decade of the band's existence. Um, those photos are gonna be rare and previously unreleased, so that'll be pretty cool. Uh, there'll be a reproduction of their End of the World demo cassette. For those in the cassettes, there'll be one of those. Also a Demon Figurine USB stick. Uh, basically, it comes apart to give you a USB drive. Uh, MP3 audio of all the expanded editions of the albums will be there, so not just what's on the vinyl, but also what's on the digital download versions. That would be pretty cool. Lots of bonus tracks, basically. Um, it's also possible that this might be one of the first 250 box sets released, or 250 copies of the box sets released, that will have a signed tarot card in it. I don't know if I got that one or not, but we'll find out. All right, let's get this sucker open. So just to let you know ahead of time, this is not the actual shipping box. This is the box inside the shipping box. I definitely wanted to show the barcode here, though. It's pretty interesting. I mean, there's the code itself. And... Uh, yeah, it just it's a nice little detail. I mean, the label didn't have to go to this, this level of, of decoration, if you will, but I kind of dig this nice little touch. It's pretty decent. So we are going to open this box. And there it is. Nice little view of that hype sticker there tells you everything that's in there I do like the detail in the lid I like the that it's kind of diagonal it has this kind of bloody nasty blade kind of look to it there's the side and more details on what's in the box pretty cool looking forward to opening this one a lot definitely a big fan of creator and of course parental advisory because, because it's the 80s. <laughs> All right, let's get this open. And be very careful. Hype sticker there for you. Let's get rid of this box as well. All right. And there are the records, amongst all the other things. Actually, this is probably a better view for you. Starting things off with their debut album, this is Endless Pain. 
Originally released in October of 1985. Recorded at Cat Studio in Berlin that very same year. Here's the back for you. Um, it's a bit rougher than the following albums. It has kind of a demo quality to it. Likely also influential on the second wave of black metal in terms of sound. It's a very old picture of them back when they were a trio. And there's some ads of albums of old. Um, a lot of really great albums. Celtic Frost, Voivod, great stuff. Death Row. Let's take a look at the vinyl. Is this color here. Very nice. Fantastic. Next up is their Pleasure to Kill album. Uh, this is definitely my favorite Creator album. I've probably mentioned that a number of times. Originally released in November of 1986. It was recorded at Music Lab in Berlin and Phoenix Studio in Bochum in 1986 as well. Uh, engineered and produced by Harris Johns, a very famous Noise Records producer. He's done a lot of the bands for that label back in the 80s. Um, what's funny on the back is that you see Wolf. He's right there, but he's not on this album. Uh, creator recorded Pleasure to Kill as a three-piece, and Wolf was briefly in the band after the recording, but during this photo shoot, so he's pictured here. Um, and we'll definitely show you things. Of course, we have our requisite thrash metal collage here, of course. And ads for the classic albums again. And I'll show you the vinyl. Nice little splatter there. And there we go. And one thing I did want to show, and I'm going to move this box out of the way briefly, is uh, the original. I also have the original version here. And it is a bit different. I mean, obviously the vinyl is going to be different. But so is the inner sleeve. That is the original there. With some of the same albums. They're in black and white this time. And the other side is blank. And the labels are the old, these are the combat labels, uh, combat and noise together. So that's what you get there. So I just wanted to show the uh, compare contrast between the two. Next up is Terrible Certainty, originally released on September 22nd, 1987. It was recorded at Horror Studio in Hanover, same year, produced by Roy Rowland. There's the back for you. Uh, this is also when the band changed from a threesome to a four piece. I'm adding guitarist Tritzi uh, right there. Um, I'm not going to pronounce his real last name. It's kind of a, a bit of a pain to pronounce. But um, in addition to the original black vinyl, there was also a limited edition red vinyl of this released back then, in case you're looking for that. Um, I also want to show you a compare contrast after. Uh, right now, let's look at the inner sleeve there with lyrics. They look like they were retype set. You'll see that in the original. And then the ad you've seen in the others. And of course, the vinyl. This amazing splatter vinyl here. God, that is nice. And reverse. Yeah, let me show you that one actually. So the original is right here. Um, and the back is much the same as well. I think they recreated the front and the back of the cover pretty well. Um, the lyrics are differently set. I will sort of show you that. You can kind of see the difference there. And the back is blank, just like the original Pleasure to Kill. So there you go with that. And the vinyl, of course, you should see. Here's the old noise labels here for you. And reverse. Next up is definitely a fan favorite album. This is Extreme Aggression. Originally released on June 19th, 1989. It was recorded at the Music Grinder in LA. That same year, produced by Randy Burns and engineered by Steve Heinke. And there's the back for you. 
Um, there was also a music video for this album for the track Betrayer. Um, I, I always found the cover to this album rather lame. Um, the original cover idea had a fittingly gruesome image of a man in a mirror with his face falling off to reveal the creator demon underneath, which sounds infinitely cooler than this. So it would be nice to get that cover as a reissue in the future, but we got this for now. It's okay, the album is far better than the cover. And there is the inner sleeve and the back as well and the vinyl. Which is a nice black and orange split. And there you go there. I actually saw this tour. Um, pretty cool. They, uh, they played out with Corner. I believe it was at the Living Room in Providence, Rhode Island. Fantastic tour. Fantastic show. Love this band. They're a great band live. Full of energy. Really great. So there's Extreme Aggression. These last two albums are interesting because I never had these on vinyl. In fact, I think a lot of other people didn't either because this really was the CD era. This is Comb of Souls, of course, originally released on November 6, 1990. It was recorded at El Dorado and Image Studios and mixed at the Music Grinder in L.A., 1990 as well. Produced by Randy Burns and engineered by Steve Heinke and Jason Roberts. There you go for that. Um, also the album which guitarist Frank Blackfire came in. You'll see him right there. Um, uh, he was previously in Sodom, and now later back in Sodom, of course. Uh, Blackfire also played on the Extreme Aggression tour, but obviously wasn't on that album. Um, also their last album on Epic Records in the U.S. And uh, there was a music video for this album for the track People of the Lie, which is probably my favorite song on this record. Hands down, great song. Show you the inner sleeve there with the lyrics. And the reverse. Great pick. And the vinyl. It's a nice little splatter vinyl here. Gray with kind of a magenta splatter going on here. Nice red labels. And the reverse. Um, in addition to the usual classic black vinyl that came out back in 1990, this was also released on purple vinyl in limited edition. But back then, so if you're looking to collect, there's another one for you. And for the last of the vinyl, we have Renewal. Uh, this came out on October 26, 1992. It was recorded at Morris Sound Studios in Tampa, Florida that same year. Produced by creator and Tom Morris. Uh, a bit of an experimental album for the band. Uh, some people hated it. I love this album. In fact, I saw this tour. Uh, fantastic tour. Uh, Paradise Lost and Morbid Angel were supporting. I actually met Greg from Paradise Lost in the Pit, and we talked about Creator endlessly. We were both pretty excited to see that band. So there's the inner sleeve. And full lyrics. And the vinyl is a nice green and black swirl. Very interesting color. I kind of like it, actually. There's the back there as well. Uh, there was a music video for the title track. Pretty cool. Um, and again, this is an, another album I didn't have on vinyl because it came out in 1992. Wasn't collecting as much vinyl. And of course, vinyl in the U.S. was harder to get at that point. Uh, Europeans had more access to uh, albums pressed to vinyl back then. And I did, however, get the cassette. So there's my cassette of Renewal. Still here. Still love this album. I'll defend it to the end. Next up will be some of the extras in this box. Nice presentation box here. There's the design on the front there. As well as the reverse. And it looks like we have the DVD, the cassette, and the USB stick shaped like the creator demon here. Let's pull that out. He's very sticky. There we go. And he looks like that. And he is a USB drive with all of the music here on the drive itself. 
pretty cool. A uh, little kitschy, but I like it. Put that right there. Well, let's go through the cassette here next. This is back when they were Tormentor, later became Creator. End of the World is the demo. I like the old school feel here, the handwriting and the, uh, the tape there. Let's get this open a little bit and let's see if there's anything else in here. Opening it very carefully. Better look at that cassette. <laughs> Compact cassette, hi-fi low noise, C60. So fun to see that stuff. There's that, and here's the inside there for you. Gives a track listing, who's in the band at the time. Same three guys that started the band, Venter, Mila, and Rob. And nothing in there. Very nice. Not a big cassette guy, but you know, given that I have this, I'm definitely gonna check it out. And of course, the Some Pain Will Last DVD. Pretty excited about this. There's the back there. It's got the From the Vault documentary on it, but there's some live concert audio going on here as well. Looks like it's three different shows, including the Andy Sneap remix of the Live in East Berlin from 90. So that should be pretty great. There's the disc. And picture of the band. Let's see if there's anything under the lid. It just says the title of the disc right there for you. So we're definitely gonna be spinning this one very soon. Probably after I start shooting. Very cool. And of course, another thing I was looking very much forward to checking out is the book. This is the Bringer of Torture hardbound book that comes with the box set. There's the back. And we'll take a look at this. And some lyrics here. Also some stories on uh, what they were up to when they were recording the early albums. Great pictures, love them. Push the kill. This is a really great era for thrash metal. I probably don't have to remind too many of you. Uh, just a lot of great bands. 1986 in particular was a pretty amazing year, but so was 1984. Yeah, and these guys are front and center of it, at least coming out of Germany, for sure. Extreme aggression. Fantastic. Comb of Souls. Incredible album. And Renewal. Lots of great shots. And the discography up to that point. Singles, EPs, and compilations there. And credits. And that looks to be it. There you go. And that's my unboxing of Under the Guillotine by Creator. Um, I should mention, and I think a few people have probably noticed, that two EPs are missing from this box set, such being Flag of Hate, as well as Out of the Dark, Into the Light. Great EPs, both of them. I have the OG copies of them, so I'm not too worried about it. But I would highly recommend that you pick up both of those, if you're getting this box set in particular, to complete this era of the band. So I'd say that compared to some of the other unboxings that I've done, this Creator Box is really something. I think I really got my money's worth with it. Um, you, not only do you get the albums themselves, but you get the DVD with all the live material, you get the USB stick with all the bonus tracks, you get that incredible book. Definitely got my money's worth. So let's go over availability of this box set. At the time of this recording, both Napalm Records and Noise Records are completely sold out of this box. Amazon UK has it for now. Uh, Amazon US might have it, but a lot of times through that site, it's a lot of third parties selling this kind of stuff and they usually jack the prices, so keep that in mind. 
Uh, Nuclear Blast Germany, where I got the box set from, has it in very, very low stock. So if you're looking to get this, you should act on it sooner or later because I got a feeling that once it's sold out from all these vendors, that's pretty much it. The price ranges for these vendors vary from about $150 to $195, that's US dollars. Um, there are folks on Discogs and eBay that are selling this thing for over $200 and over $300 in some cases, but that might be the route you have to go if you wait too long on this one. So it's a pretty cool box set, but I'd really love to get your input on it. What did you like best about it? Maybe you had a favorite item in it? Um, if you haven't bought it, would you consider buying it? And if you did pick it up, do you think it was worth the purchase? Let me know all of that and anything else that makes sense in the comments below. Of course, if you got something out of this video, I'd definitely appreciate one of these. Also, share the video with your friends and definitely subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. This is the Accusation Network where at least once a week, sometimes twice a week, I do videos on metal vinyl collecting. If that's up your alley, definitely. Like, subscribe, and share. Super appreciate it. And if you're a regular viewer of this channel and you want to see even more content, I definitely have some over at my Patreon account. Go to patreon.com slash the accusation network. Check out all those reward tiers and see how you can contribute. Um, I post videos up to seven days early there, but I have some other exclusive content too, so you should definitely check that out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.